Yesterday, Discord was in the holiday spirit, feeling particularly quirky with a silly, goofy mood. They decided to make an April Fool's Day video about how loot boxes were coming to Discord. A big old joke. But the joke ended up being on YouTube itself because Discord inadvertently created the most potent view bot YouTube has ever seen. Right now, the 17 second Discord short is at 628 million views with 53,000 likes and 5,200 comments. So you can tell something's a little fishy there, something's gone awry. That's a ton of views and not much engagement. This video has now set the record for most views in 24 hours, and it's an unbreakable record. I think even if Jesus Christ rose from the ground right now and started vlogging his experience about what heaven is like, there wouldn't be 600 million people that clicked on that video in 24 hours. It wouldn't even come close. It probably wouldn't even beat GTA 6 in 24 hours, which had like 100 mil in 24. This is an unbeatable record now because of Discord's accidental view bot that they implemented. Discord's April Fool's Day prank was like the fucking Manhattan Project for YouTube. They created the nuclear bomb for the platform that cost them a ton of money and just obliterate their AdSense. Like, I'm very curious how much money this video made. It's only 17 seconds, so it's not getting, like, a ton of, like, RPM or anything, but still, with that many views, that's probably still, like, at least 50, 60 grand, I would imagine. But the most substantial hit to YouTube here is the infrastructure, where they have to feed 600 million views to video to a video that no one is actually watching, thus they're not really making anything on. It's also 17 seconds in the first place, which again, isn't something they make a lot on anyway. So it's just costing YouTube a ton of money just hosting a video that's getting that amount of traction from what is fundamentally fake views. So how did Discord do it, and are they going to jail for this criminal action? To tackle the first question here, I'll turn to this series of tweets from Marvin. Discord managed to create a working YouTube viewbot in 2024 by playing their loot box announcement trailer on loop in the background of the in-app toast. When asked to break the magician's code and reveal what the in-app toast was, Marvin explains that it's the little pop-up in the bottom right of your Discord app. So as I understand it, since the video was embedded in Discord itself and looping, anyone who was just normally using Discord over the last 24 hours was accidentally contributing to this monstrous view count here for the video. Another Twitter user said that they could have sworn YouTube embeds that autoplay don't give the embedded video views, and Marvin explains that they actually do. From my own research, embedded video views do actually count to the view count, but he assumed that YouTube would dedupe the view count later which it doesn't seem like they have yet, or there's no sign if they ever will either. It also seems the top brass at Discord didn't know that this would happen. This all seems to be a happy little accident here. Here's one of the higher ups at Discord expressing their confusion. How the fuck is this video getting so many views? Unable to recognize that in the pursuit of science they may have gone too far, playing God. They were blinded by this insatiable appetite to create the ultimate April Fool's prank. They only asked if they could, never if they should. Their creation became too powerful. I'm sure many of you remember Wumpus, God rest his soul. He used to be the face of Discord, the head honcho, the man in charge, the puppeteer behind the curtains pulling the strings. That was back when Discord still leaned heavy into dank meme culture, so every time you open the app it just blasted you with cringe, like, need to construct additional pylons to overflow our meme capacitors. All your base are belong to us, tee hee hee. Zoinks, and don't even get me started on what would happen if you made the mistake of filing a support ticket, because then you had to communicate with Wumpus's lobotomite sidekick, Springle, the mystical fairy elf, who did nothing to solve your problems, it was just like one Discord employee who really liked to LARP and roleplay, so you'd give them your problem that you want help with, and they just kind of beat around the bush in like the silliest ways ever, like, Oh, this is a very alarming problem. I'm going to get to it right now. Let me contact the hype conductor over here at the HQ, and we'll see if we can get to it. Then they get back to you like a day later, like, hmm, unfortunately, there was nothing we could do about it. Our Chaos Emeralds weren't powerful enough to solve your problem, but hopefully you enjoyed our conversation anyway. Toodaloo, cobbleaboo, that kind of stuff. Or, no, he used to say, uh, crinkle. He used to be like, crinkle cum. No, it wasn't, crink it wasn't crinkle cum, but he used to say something like that, like, crinkly dinks, something just spitting gibberish jolliness at you. And it was kind of charming and cute, but obviously very kind of embarrassing. So they ended up retiring that 
and rebranding to be more serious as the app grew in popularity. But back then, they used to blame all of the problems that happened at Discord on Wumpus. If there was an outage, they'd say, whoops, Wumpus seems to have tripped over the power cord at Discord. How clumsy of Wumpus. Can everyone say, aw, Wumpus with a hashtag underneath this tweet? That kind of thing. So I've got a theory that this was a Wumpus original. He reared his ugly head from behind the curtain once again at Discord, and his influence was felt in a big way here. Like a poltergeist, a spirit that was haunting Discord. They must have got the Ouija board out and accidentally summoned Wumpus, and he created this, this big view bot. Now, they have changed it so it no longer just autoplays and loops in everyone's Discord like some kind of parasitic infestation on there or anything. Now, you have to go out of your way to view it. And I am curious if YouTube's going to do anything about it, or if, if they even could, if they wanted to. Like, how do you just get rid of a bunch of those views? Like, how, like is there a way for them to see on the back end which ones were just autoplay looped? I imagine there must be. Like, they have all kinds of crazy analytics and data. There probably is a way to see that, but is there a way for them to just take those views away? Just make them vanish and poof? I, I don't know. This is something we've seen on Twitch a lot with... Infamous channels like Fexture Life, which embeds their live streams on their website in every single instance of that website in the top left where it would autoplay those streams. I don't, I don't know if they still do that now, but it's how they used to have a bunch of fraudulent viewers on their streams where they'd have like 20, 30k viewers, but only like five people in chat. It's because they were embedding that stream on another platform and having it autoplay in a bunch of different instances. It drives these view numbers up in a huge way. But I don't know if we've ever seen that utilized on YouTube, and certainly not to this degree with something as big as Discord. So I wonder if this is going to open the door or open people's eyes on exploits for YouTube views if you start embedding things and auto-playing them externally. I Who knows, really? It could have far-reaching consequences or none at all. It really is unique in the fact that it was Discord that did it because so many millions of people use that every single day. So the numbers just went wacky here, fucking insano style, but... I wonder if there's other platforms or people that have popular platforms outside of YouTube that might use this to get some extra juice on their videos, like their big projects, if they just start embedding it. And you wouldn't see numbers like 600 million, but maybe you'd see numbers like in the 5 to 10 million range. I, I'm, I'm just curious. I don't know if that's a possibility or if YouTube's going to do something on the back end to make sure this doesn't happen again. Who really knows, but for now, it's just very fascinating and actually a fucking solid April Fool's Day joke from Discord here. Not with their loot box video, like, that's fine, that's cute, but this as an April Fool's joke with this unbelievable viewbot and clinching a record that will never be beaten with 600 million views in 24 hours, that is incredible. That's like an actual hearty har har belly laugh kind of prank right there that they didn't even mean to pull. Like, if BTS dropped the music video right now, wouldn't even come close. There's nothing on the planet that will ever beat that record, ever. I, I, I'm, I'm very confident in saying that. Shit, even if Mr. Beast himself collaborated with a legitimate extraterrestrial alien and did like a hundred million dollar giveaway, all you had to do to enter was click on that video, I don't see that beating this. I don't see that getting 628 million views in 24 hours. I do not think it is possible to break this record no matter what. So yeah, it, very interesting stuff. Very, very cool. Very, very awesome work there, Discord. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. That's it. See ya.